Hi, welcome to our King's College of Engineering, Tanjavu. Myself, R. Sundaram, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, King's College of Engineering, Kunalkulam. In this video, we will see about plume, plume rise and stack plume patterns. Plume. Plume is nothing but a path uh, and its extension uh, in the atmosphere uh, of the emitted gas from the source. That is, uh, the source is uh, generally referred as a stack. The plume, the plume is nothing but uh, the smoke uh, went out from the chimney or stack uh, in such a path and it dispersed in the atmosphere. The path and its extension uh, in the atmosphere uh, from the emitted uh, from the emitted source uh, is not, is called as plume. And in general, uh, plume uh, is a uh, air column uh, in which uh, one air is moving um, through another. That is called plume. Then the plume rise. Plume rise is nothing but a uh, uh, distance of uh, hot plume uh, from stack into the atmosphere uh, due to uh, the buoyancy and the momentum force. Uh, in air pollution, uh, the diffusion of air pollutant uh, in, uh, into the environment is depending on the environmental lab state and the adiabatic lab state. But the plume rise is nothing but a uh, distance of a hot plume uh, from stack uh, into the atmosphere uh, due to the uh, buoyancy and momentum forces. Uh, what are the factors that influencing the bloom uh, that influence the plume behavior are uh, stack height, uh, diurnal variation, and some seasonal variations. Diurnal variation is nothing but in the atmospheric stability, and the seasonal variations is nothing but a long term variations. Uh, the diurnal variation is nothing but uh, uh, day night variations, uh, but the seasonal variations are long term variation. The stack height, stack height is nothing but the uh, height of the tall stacks, that is chimney, the emission uh, from tall stock, uh, tall stacks are uh, generally allowed to mix with atmospheric air at higher levels uh, in order to increase the uh, rate of dilution. Otherwise, uh, the concentration of air pollutant is much more. Uh, where if uh, the height of uh, stack or chimney is um, very less, if the higher levels, then only it increases the rate of dilution. The ground level concentration of the emission is highly depends on the height of the stack and the height of the plume rise above the stack. Yes, the uh, actual uh, stack height is easy to determine while the effective stack height is um, uh, quite difficult to estimate um, with a higher degree of accuracy. But the increased stack height uh, is considered to diffuse the pollutant better. But uh, the rise of pollutant is uh, proportional to the emission velocity of gases uh, and to the uh, temperature differences uh, between the gases and the um, surrounding atmosphere. But um, the um, but, but the given stack height, the concentration of the air pollutant at ground level decreases uh, with increase the wind velocity. However, there is a critical velocity uh, when the ground concentration attains the maximum value. Then, stack plume patterns. Stack plume patterns uh, is nothing but uh, the plume behavior observation. The plume behavior observation is called plume uh, patterns. Uh, the, um, um, the plume behavior observations are used to determine the location of uh, air sampling and to identify the invisible pollutants and to change the uh, plume pattern according with the seasonal variations. What are all the plume patterns? Uh, is um, means 
there are different uh, types of plume behavior uh, described in this uh, plume patterns um is these are the types of uh, plume patterns uh, looping plume neutral plume coning plume panning plume lofting plume uh, fumigating plume and the uh, uh, trapping plume in this first one looping plume looping plume uh, is uh, defined as uh, the um, behavior of plume the behavior of uh, plume uh, will be a wavy character and it occurs at a highly unstable atmosphere um, due, uh, highly unstable atmosphere due to rapid mixing uh, that is called a loop plume um, this figure shows that uh, the uh, plume uh, from stack is a uh, uh, wavy uh, nature then only it is called looping plume in this uh, looping plume the um, um, atmosphere is highly unstable because uh, it is uh, not a constant mixing so it is uh, not a slow mixing it is rapid mixing so the looping plume is uh, is look like wavy character and the second one is the neutral plume uh, neutral plume is uh, the upward vertical rise uh, the plume uh, vertical rise of the plume um, from the stack when uh, the environmental uh, lapse rate is uh, approximately equal to uh, adiabatic lapse rate uh, then it is called a neutral plume but the upward movement of uh, plume will continue uh, till the plume density uh, equals to air density then only it is called a neutral plume that is the upward movement of plume uh, will continue when uh, the plume density the plume density which will be equal to the uh, air density in a particular zone or particular area uh, then only uh, it is neutral um, uh, so we call it is a neutral plume then uh, third one is the coning plume the coning plume uh, is the plume behavior the shape of the cone um above the plume line above the plume line which occurs at a slight stable environment and the wind velocity when the wind velocity is more than 32 km per hour this coning plume occurs in a new uh, in occurs near the neutral atmospheric conditions that means adiabatic conditions but in this plume uh, the plume reaches the ground at greater distance than the looping plume uh, thus the plume uh, easily reaches the ground at greater distances uh, than the looping plume uh, but in the looping plume uh, reaches the ground um, um, reaches the ground is, uh, in um, less time but the plume uh, this coning plume uh, reaches the dis uh, reaches the ground in uh, greater distance then uh, this uh, figure shows the pattern of uh, coning plume then uh, fanning plume fanning plume is the horizontal uh, plume pattern uh, for long distance but it occurs when there will not uh, vertical mixing uh, will not be any vertical mixing uh, fanning plume uh, occurs uh, under uh, extreme inversion conditions uh, due to um, uh, negative uh, environmental lapse rate uh, from ground to certain heights but it may extend even above the top of the stack but the emission will spread only in horizontal direction due to high atmospheric stability it will not be uh, it will not uh, mixing within uh, mixing in a vertical direction because the plume pattern itself um, uh, moving in a horizontal uh, horizontal distance i mean horizontal way so it is a horizontal plume pattern uh, this figure shows that the fanning plume in this the plume uh, the path of the plume is only in horizontal so uh, in this uh, no vertical mixing uh, happened in this uh, fanning plume but uh, it, uh, um, it will spread only in horizontal direction because of that uh, high atmospheric stability then um, the lofting plume, uh, lofting plume is nothing but um, the plume pattern um, occurs uh, when the when there is a strong 
super adiabatic lap state above the uh, surface inversion. But in this pattern, uh, diffusion is rapid in the upward direction and the diffusion uh, does not penetrate the inversion layer in the downward. Uh, in this case, uh, emission will not uh, reach the surface. So, uh, somewhat better uh, in this uh, somewhat better uh, plume pattern uh, because um, it will not reach the surface. Uh, um, yeah, so, uh, we are safe, we are some, somewhat safe from this uh, pattern of uh, lofting plume uh, because the lofting plume um, uh, does not penetrate the inversion layer in the downward. So, it will not uh, reach the surface. So, this figure shows that the uh, plume pattern of lofting plume. Then, uh, fumigating plume. The fumigating plume pattern uh, occurs at a short distance uh, above the, um, at a short distance but above the stack height and the strong lap state uh, prevails below the stack. Because, uh, because of the uh, inversion layer, the emission cannot move uh, above the top of the stack. But the fumigating is one of the worst case of plume pattern because they are uh, brought uh, down near the ground uh, due to the turbulence uh, in that particular region. Because the fumigating plume uh, easily um, reach the surface and uh, easily reach the surface uh, Im um, immediately. Um, then uh, it will affect um, uh, people and other living organisms. So that uh, the fumigating plume is one of the worst plume patterns uh, in um, plume. Uh, uh, the path of the plume is the worst case. Um, this is a few fumigating plume. In this figure shows that the pattern, the pattern of plume is reaches the ground. Um, reach, I mean reaches the air surface. Um, the path of the plume is easily reaches the air surface. So the so only uh, we call it as a worst uh, worst uh, plume pattern. Then the last plume pattern is a trapping plume. Uh, trap in this uh, trapping plume when the inversion layers uh, exist above the emission source and below the source, uh, the plume lies between two inversions. Um, in this case, uh, dispersion cannot uh, go above the certain height. From the above, it is clear that the lofting plume is the best plume pattern. Uh, due to minimized air pollution. The trapping plume and uh, fumigating uh, plume are critical plume uh, from point of ground level pollutant concentration. So, um, uh, somewhat uh, lofting plume is one of the best plume pattern because the air pollution is minimized in this uh, path. So, in this uh, path of, uh, in this path uh, plume. So, uh, the trapping plume is somewhat safer one. So, thank you. In this video, uh, we are uh, clear about uh, plume, plume rise and various plume patterns. So, we have, to, uh, we have some responsibilities to save our earth, to save the world from air pollution. Thank you.